Good evening and welcome to Omni Bros Live. I am one of your co-hosts, Omni Dog from Omni Dog's Vault. With me tonight, as usual, there I am. Thank you. And there I am again. Look at that swab, <laughs> Kevin Air guy. Got the Hawaiian shirt and everything, and a, and vinyl. I never noticed that vinyl before. It's that's, a nice touch. That's broad. Do you even like the Beatles? I love the Beatles. Okay. Yeah, and doing peace and love, that's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I lost my train of thought. I was thinking of everyone else, but now I can only think of myself. Typical. Yeah. Um, I'm Omnidog. Let's see. Joining me, as always, Comics Guide 101's Lou. Hi, everybody. Hello. How you doing, Lou? I am cool. good. I'm good. I'm good. And right up above is Gabe Loves 90s Comics. There yo, he yo, is. yo. What up, everybody? Fantastic Four and tats on the arms. The only thing you didn't get is your black socks. I don't see any <laughs> socks. I'm going to assume they're black. Okay. And the untimely Omar. <laughs> <laughs> I this is I, I don't have an excuse. <laughs> My bad, I was late. That's letting you do your intros. How's everybody Thank doing? You. Thank you, buddy. Uh, doing good. Doing really well. And we have a, a like a lot of people in the chat already. Benjamin Pinheiro, Pinheiros. I mentioned you in my haul video today uh, because of a lack sinner. So check out my video to see yourself mentioned. Because I know it's a big deal to be mentioned on one of my videos. I'm kidding. It's a big deal to be mentioned on one of Omar's videos. Uh, but I always mention you on my videos. That's why I like you. It's never positive, though. <laughs> That's why I don't it's like Usually you. that piece of crap <laughs> Omni Dog stealing my material again. Uh, it is not. You steal my material. <laughs> But somebody that doesn't steal anything and, as a matter of fact, is in business to do good for uh, our community, that's InStockTrades.com, where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Look, hey, there's a week in geekdom. Geo, how's it going? Hi, Geo. Hi, Geo. Uh, loyalty discounts add 2% to that up to 50% off. Uh, there's rumors that there could be an Omnibros live discount code before the end of the year. That's how I'm going to give it. That's the target before the end of the year. But we do know IST always gives us a $50 gift card to give away to a lucky viewer at the end of every month. That's fantastic. Uh, something else that's amazing is they give you free shipping on orders of $50 or more in the United States. The best customer service you've ever dealt with. Let me tell you something. She's awesome. Fabulous packaging. That's it. Sucktrades.com. All right. Good song. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job. Hi, Gio. Oh, he's muted. Now, where where are you in your room, G? Oh, are you muted? Can yeah, you hear he's, in a, he's in a new location. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, you're in a new location. Where are you? Wait. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, there he is. You, there he is. You look to be in a new location, Gio. Where are you? Uh, it's still my room. Um, unfortunately, I changed things up, so you're not going to see the the uh, books anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? Good, though. What, did you sell them? No, no, they're still there. It's just um, oh. I set up my computer elsewhere, so gotcha. <laughs> they're not gotcha. going to be in the background anymore. Okay. So if you, I was hoping them, you. You'd mess with Jess and be like, I'm down here in your basement, <laughs> Jess. Look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jess would be happy to have someone like you at his house. I would. Yep. Oh, I'd be annoying. Come on. No, you wouldn't be. Gio, you'd probably be the greatest house guest ever. Probably. You probably wouldn't even leave your room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just slip in some PB&J and a nice uh, <laughs> bottle of water. I'm good. Okay. 
Burp. Gio, Gio would be the guy that would just make best friends with your wife if he stayed at the house. He just he'd be that guy. I try to be as friendly as possible with everybody. So yeah, right on, man. yeah, that's a good way to be, man. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, you're not going to see the shelves, and I think I am 95 percent going digital. So you're you're going to see a lot less purchases for me when it comes to books. Oh, that's a big uh, decision. Uh, yeah, I well, mean, well, you, uh, you can still do hauls. Yeah, you can be no, like, look, I hauled this. On your, you got to hold your iPad up, and I hauled this series here. I just don't have room for more books. I mean, I do, but then it becomes so cluttered that it hurts my, the aesthetic, and I, I, I don't like it. I'm an aesthetic kind of guy. So, nice. welcome to the dark side, Geo. Nice, nice. But that's a good decision, then, man. You know, go go with what you can do. Yeah. You know, at least you can see the uh, Blu-rays there. So, at least you're still reading books, and you know we can still get you here to give us awesome manga recommendations and everything. Yeah, else. I mean, I am going to be keeping up with stuff that's coming out. I'm just going to read it digitally. So, oh, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That, that's awesome, dude. Thank you save a lot of money, man. You're gonna save a lot of money. Yeah. Benjamin Pinieros. I'm going to try and stay to that plan. So. Benjamin Pinero thinks he feels like he should set up an Etsy shop or something since he was mentioned in my video. <laughs> That's huge. Being mentioned in Justice Channel is like being mentioned in a Kanye song. Huge life highlight for me. I feel like I should set up an Etsy shop or something. <laughs> uh, I think I agree with that statement. Jess is a lot like Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is he running for president? I can see. Not yet. I am not he thinks a lot of himself. Gold digger. <laughs> Does I he like big it. booty girls? Like just wanted to take thank you for pointing me in the direction of Lady Killer. Read the hardcover in one sitting and can't wait for the next one. Thanks again. Thank you, Beta Ray Jim. I'm glad you enjoyed the book. It's a good book. Uh, somebody's asking if I'm selling my collection. Some books I am going to sell later down the year, but not everything, probably like five or 10% of them. Mm, but I, I'm fun. still getting stuff, you know? I'm still getting some manga and a couple hardcovers that I want. Nothing crazy. Man, you just do whatever it is that makes you happy. Uh, Rick, yes, I am concentrating more on certain like finished runs of creators and stuff. So, yeah. Damn it. Cool. So, everybody, welcome here. We got a lot of viewers right now. 114 right out the gate. Nice. Right out the gate. So, everybody, give us a thumbs up. If your first time here, subscribe. Yeah, man. Don't want to miss out on what's going on these days. We're here for you. We have hauls, previews, and reads tonight. So, do we want to start off with Halls or reads? Or do we, we make, want to make an announcement first? Or do we want to make an announcement first? Let's do the announcement first. Let's do the announcement first. We've got a bunch of people here. The heck are we announcing? I don't let's, know. Let's do it. Let's do the announcement first. All right. We're doing it live. Go do for it, it Omar. I'll write it and we'll do it live. <laughs> no, All right, no. everybody. So uh, we, we always <laughs> get requests for people who want to support the show more. Uh, as you know, we do have down below, click the link. We do have a t-shirt shop uh, down below where you can find awesome t-shirts, uh, especially ones that look like this. That's awesome. Uh, all mm -hmm. the Omnibus Network folks. But starting now, we're announcing that we now have a official Omni Bros Live a Patreon. Ooh. That's right. Omni Bros Patreon for the Omni Bros Live guys. Uh, it's very simple. This is... We want to. We really, when we started this, we really wanted to make it well known that this isn't like a money grab. This isn't us trying to get more money or, or anything like this. This is so people who, who ask us how they can support the show, we give them an outlet on how to sh support the show. It's really simple. It's 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 not expensive at all. We're we're not doing crazy like only videos that you will only get on our Patreon, only for our Patreon subscribers, or go to our Patreon subscribers and get and get. Official Omni Bros Live feet photos from uh, no, Geo's no, no, no. collection. 
No, 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 no. I nope. want you to know that I'm on record as wanting more money. These guys outvoted me. <laughs> <laughs> so that link is also uh, down below. Uh, and we throw it up in the chat as well. Or you can just look up Omni Bros Live on Patreon. It's 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 a real just way of us saying thank you. If you want to support us, there's two tiers. All right, really simple, really easy. Uh, the first tier is our tip jar, <laughs> where you can throw in whatever amount of money you want, starting at a dollar all the way up to whatever you want. It's it's legitimately just a tip jar. There's nothing getting out of it. There's no crazy. You get to go spend a weekend at Jess's house, and we all have a sleepover, and everybody gets to shave Gabe's head or anything like that. Uh, it's <laughs> you legitimately just throw in what you want. It's a thank you. We appreciate it. It goes towards the show uh, and all that kind of fun stuff. And then that's tier number one. It's a dollar or a thousand dollars or whatever crazy amount you want to put in. Whatever it is, we all appreciate it and we thank you. There's a second tier, which is our campfire tier. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait. What is this shit? <laughs> I don't remember talking about no damn campfire. What are, we, what are, we, what are you talking about? Let me explain. It's campfire tier. <laughs> Meaning that you get to go to Jess's house and pull one of his books off the shelf and throw it into a fire. <laughs> I don't remember talking about that. Well, that's, that's his all-timers kicking in, according to Tom <laughs> King. According to Tom King. Right. Uh, so campfire tier, what it is, it's five bucks. Five bucks. Uh, the way Patreon works, the same for the tip jar. Uh, whatever money you throw in, uh, you want to you want to donate or declare, you get charged automatically, and then you get charged again on the first of every month. So for the five dollar tier, again, it's just the five dollar tier. But what you get out of it is once a month, you get to hang out with the Omni Bros on a special private like hangout streamline or stream yard. Situation where it's definitely just like a campfire situation. You get a, we all just get into a room like this together and we hang out and talk about whatever you want and show your feet to Geo. No, no, it is required. Required. No, five dollars and a foot photo. No, don't, don't, don't give them incentives. Come on, don't okay. say that. No, I don't don't like it. someone's gonna believe it. Someone's gonna believe it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's five bucks and you get to hang out and we. <laughs> You have a private hangout session once a month. Well, that's, we will tell that's you that. It's we will tell you the secrets to our success in collecting. And, <laughs> and the secrets to our success. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff will sing Kumbaya. <laughs> we will we will cook marshmallows and hot dogs. And I don't know, take a bunch of mushrooms. That's what you do at, at, at campfires, right? <laughs> Anthony Rogers has a really good question. Isn't that what we're <laughs> doing now <laughs> no but you have to get to talk to us talk to us like on video like, oh you want to do like air. dark dark like after dark this is we can do after dark. after dark oh jesus all right <laughs> only <So>. broke after <laughs> dark interesting so yeah that's that's the way it works no, very simple no. please no feet pics the chat is already riled up <laughs> no you know there's gonna be at least one I will not see those pictures. I will delete them. I think Gabe is the one that will see those. Well, Gabe, you can enjoy them. They oh, don't he, bother he's Gabe. He's the like, Quentin Tarantino of the group. Yeah, they don't bother you, Gabe. You like, need free photos? Here. They're they're coming up. They're, I'll put them up right here. Just oh. take Riley. I'll just throw them up on the screen. Oh um, no! Don't do that. Please don't. Thank you. Don't do that. But thank yeah, you, that's man. that's the way it works, everybody. And an advance <laughs> thank you. To anybody who's willing to, you know, just throw a couple of bucks our way, you know, and you get special access to us once a month behind the scenes <laughs> Omnibus live video. Is that right? <laughs> Not a video, but it's just us hanging out and chit chatting. Us like hanging this. out with them and chit chatting. <laughs> right. Oh man. Hey, I did that fans. the other day. OnlyFans. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I'm thinking about OnlyFans, but no. Yeah, because you all were talking about it, and I was like, "What is this?" Oh, okay, no. Um, yeah, no. 
the feet the feet thing is really catching on in the chat. Yeah, and that is gross. <laughs> God damn. Everybody's so got feet. Shut up. Yes. What? Everybody's got feet. I don't know. My dad had a friend from Vietnam that didn't have feet anymore. Thank you, landmines. But okay. I didn't. But I don't wow. want to see them. Save it for Omni Bros after dark. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of Omni Bros after dark, if this catches on, like if we have a lot of people who want to do like the, you know, the five dollar tier, because with Streamyard you can only have like I think it's ten people. You said Geo. So if it gets crazy, we can always move over to Zoom, or we can make it like an Omni Bros after dark, where you know it's it's unfiltered, and we could just say all the all the crazy stuff we we want to say and. All the topics we want to bring up that we really, you know, we save for not on the show. So it could turn into a thing. So is Omni Bros After Dark a $10 tier? No, we'll keep that at five bucks, but we'll see what, it's we'll fun. see where this builds up to. Yeah. Look at that. Omni Toes Live. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's amazing. No likey. I, I, I will go for the record that I hate feet. So, yeah. The thing is, a lot of people in the group, they get excited because they get a new book and they want to take a picture of it. And then you see their freaking feet in the picture. I'm like, can't you just crop them out? Uh, you can see your feet. Not highlighting an at all, are they? Not self-aware. Every time I take a picture of a haul, I'll just I'll just make sure I have no no shoes or socks on. <laughs> I just have just a little bit in the corner, just a little tease of a big toe. Let's do some sleepovers. <laughs> ingrown toenails are no good. I used to have a problem with ingrown toenails growing up. No, no bueno. Oh my god, let's get off this. Let's bomb it. I'm sorry. I am going to bomb it. <laughs> I'm so uh, disappointed in all of you. Nobody likes why? feet. I hate feet. Like, I. Never mind. I'll keep it for Omni Bros after dark, I guess. All right. Um, men's feet to bother me. I oh, think men's, men's feet. feet are gross. That's gross. sexist. I'm surprised Jesse. It is sexist. Sexist. Men's feet are gross. I find women's feet much uh, more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Jess. I wasn't kink shaming you. I was just... Well, I'm admitting it. I'll come out and admit it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that you clarified that, though. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, <laughs> let's move past the. That's everything in the chat. Is feet, 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 feet. I am so vomiting. For the new viewers, we're not always like this. Just say lies. Mm, are we though? Are <laughs> yeah. we not? All right, halls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you found it. <laughs> That's oh, I, love, I love Magnum PI. <laughs> Magnum PI, baby. Uh, Halls, what did you all haul? Mike, uh, I have I have the worst luck. I've had shit chipped in. I still don't have Berserk Five. I bought really? it for my brother on Sunday. His birthday's Tuesday. It already arrived at his house from Amazon. Mine is stuck somewhere. Got I don't know. It's in like USPS hell right now, along with three other packages. So I have no idea what's. Dude, what's I got. Going on. I'm the same way, dude. I got like two packages I've been waiting on for like a month. One, yeah, one eBay. shipped out June twentieth. The other one shipped out whenever the hell Berserk came out, and then I had one ship out on July fourth, <laughs> or I'm sorry, July fifth. So holy crap, this is. Uh, I I get it. We're going through a pandemic, and you know, there's other more important things to ship. But I was like, I'm pretty sure those. Because I've forgotten like some of the things that I had ordered, and they're just sitting somewhere. Yeah, I have one waiting that got shipped out on the twelfth, and one that got shipped out on the seventh. That yeah, and, and wait, and when you track it, it literally says arriving late. That's all it says. That's <laughs> all it says. Have you noticed? Are you guys noticing that it's it's in the handoff to you to the post office from UPS is where the hang up happens. Um, one of them mine, is. I track mine and it says everything's fine. UPS is going to be delivered Saturday. And then there's a blank thing there when it gets handed off to UPS, US, the post office. Mm -hmm. And that's what's taken like two extra weeks once it gets to the post office. Oh, it, it's I it's either it's USPS, it's UPS, it's everything, man. I don't know if it's my name that's 
like on a list somewhere that they're like, make sure this asshole actually has books for media mail shipping. But they literally have it somewhere. I, and I, you know, but anyway, it's not complaining about the media mail. Okay, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, you don't even like your own feet. Damn. I can't see with socks that, on. That's hate. That's <laughs> hate, man. Okay. Uh, Jess, what did you get? What did I get? Yeah, wait a minute. I remember I even ordered a damn book for Jess, and Jess got his goddamn book long before I got my package. You the know, same, Omar, the same day. Omar, I got something for you to make you feel better. Was that Talk to Hulk that you ordered me? Whoa. Oh, yes, sir. We Dang. need to have a Selma day. How do you not Selma like feet day. after this movie? Oh, my. Anyway, guys, sorry. Omni Bros after dark or whatever, but. Uh, There's this amazing scene in this movie. Okay, Jess, stay on target. Huh? Your haul. <laughs> what do you got? What? Your haul. Um, what was the book that you ordered for me when I was like in the hospital or something? Was that She Hulk? The one you sold? <laughs> I didn't sell that. Okay, no Silver I mean, Surfer. You did. You did. Tell oh, me. Silver Surfer. <laughs> Surfer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got it. You sold it. You've already shipped it and made your money. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm still business. waiting on my books. <laughs> That's too much. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, man. So, yes, I did get a. a wait, 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 wait. I need you to highlight Benjamin Pinedos. The, the the I must confess. The confession yeah. one? I must confess. I'm a leg and feet guy. You know how I knew we, you were cool, man. Because one of my earliest streams on this, I was talking about the Ann Nachetti, uh interview. And I remember talking about her sexy legs on this interview. And you were the only one in the chat that said amen, Omar. Because <laughs> you knew exactly the video I was talking about. <laughs> I was like, oh, that dude's cool. Anyway, Jess, my bad. No, I'm with him. I get it. <clears throat> Uh, Rocky Turk wrote in Kentucky. It's not, not, <laughs> not stereotyping. They're not all Rocky. <laughs> I've got gravel. Roll Route 47. Gravel. <laughs> all right. Go ahead, man. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I shared this before. This is the prequel to Wrong Earth, Dragonfly, and Dragonfly Man. You did, because we I talked did. about we, it. Yeah. Get rid of it. <laughs> well, I'll toss it. A good uh, for $43, Squadron Supreme. Um, I've always wanted to read this. And for 43 bucks. Oh, you got the good one. Yeah, that's what you said. Oh, the George Bryce cover? Definitely. That's the one that has everything. It's more complete. Yeah. So I'm uh, interested in this book. Even though I'm not really big on team books, this one sounded fun. Uh, Morbius the Living Vampire, it finally came in. It took a little bit to come in. I see you got the DM cover. I did. That thing is nice. I like that spine. It nice. is. The spine? Mm hmm. I like that picture of Morbius. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's boss. I have fond memories of these Adventure into Fears when I was a teenager, so I really wanted this book. So are you going to pick up the omnibus that comes out at the end of the month? What omnibus? Adventures in the Fear omnibus. Oh, yeah. I. Um, or are you just interested in Morbius? I think I'm just interested in Morbius, but I'll, I'll look at what uh, the other stories. Um, I'm probably just in interested in Morbius, but I'll look at the other stories. Um, finally, Judge Anderson, sci Files Volume 1. This took six weeks to get here from Canada. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now I'm going to start my Judge Anderson read. So you've already done Judge Dredd? I haven't. I'm going to start with Judge Anderson because she's my uh, Did you take Dredd. Sledge's advice? Did he make you a reading order? I've had oh, a few Sledge people make me that? reading orders, and they told me to start with Judge Anderson with that case file one. Um, if so, um, well, I have an awful lot of different, actually, you're right. I should get a reading order for all the judge dread and judge Anderson books I have. Maybe I should put that up in the group and have somebody suggest a reading order. That is a good idea. Uh, cause I'm doing that this summer too. And 
I don't. One of those is hard to find, right? You were telling us about that. Volume two of of this series is JJ. Oh, damn it! Of course, it is. Jade found for me. Now the, I gotta find it. Yeah, I think it can be found. You just gotta <laughs> look. I swear, if you say look, <laughs> you just have to look, Omar. Where's Riley been? <laughs> Riley showed up last Thursday. He's he usually shows up on Thursdays. He'll be back Thursday. Thursday. He's been doing the Thursday shows lately. Yeah. Benjamin, there are five Judge Anderson uh, five, uh, sci-files. Shadow of the Batgirl, young adults title. I love these young adults titles, and I'm psyched on this. Uh, Mitchell O'Brien from the admin chat super baited me on getting losers. I found it for not very much. That's a good book. Did it's they ever, did they ever finish that series in that format? Because I had one and two, and then I waited for three, and I feel like that line was canceled, and I ended up just flipping them. Um, I, this says it collects the first twelve issues, and then the second yeah. book I ordered contains the rest of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I don't know if they finished it that in that format, but mm, okay. Uh, the movie's supposed to be decent too. Has anybody seen the movie? It's okay. It's okay. all right. It's, okay. it's fun. Uh, Tales it's from a the great Co cast. It's an awesome cast in it, though. My man with that Tales from the Crypt. Is that the Dark Horse one or the Gemstone Publishing? Dark Horse, right? Gemstone. Gem. Oh, you went old school. I went what was aff affordable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dark Horse never reprinted Volume 1 yet? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at them. They've only done 4 and 5. Yeah, these things are can get yeah. really pricey. So I can I have a like camel 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 on um these things and whenever something comes in that's close to cover price, I jump on them. So that was the deal with this. Yep. Yep. So you got Volume 2. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I, th I think I also have volumes one and three of Tales from the Crypt. Then you're good. Those are the harder ones to find. Those and Haunt of Fear 1 and uh, what's it called? Vault of Horror 1 and 2. Okay. Dang it! Don't say that, Ras. Some a-hole in Amazon UK is holding Judge Anderson volume 2 hostage for 300 Whoa. It's a little more than I want to pay, but I guess we'll see. Legion of Superheroes, Silver Age, Volume 3. The last one. That course, contained the Death of Pharaoh, lad? No, that was in the second one. Mm. These are the little bit more modern ones. I don't know why the Silver Age books from DC are like Doom Patrol, Adam Strange, Legion of Superheroes, but no Batman or Superman, which everybody what everybody wanting. Well, Crazy to me. Is that Jim Shooter stuff in that one? Not in. I think this one's. I don't think he wrote in this one. I think he was. Oh, it is. With stories written primarily by Jim Shooter at the time, only a teenager himself. I was going to say he was like 16, right? Yeah. And art by Wynn Mortimer, Kurt Swan, and others. Yeah, this is a really good uh, run. Yeah, you're right. Jim Shooter. I think he wasn't he like twelve when he first. Yeah, it's young. He was he was supporting his family that way. Yeah, and then Gabe super baited me into getting <laughs> nice Predator thirtieth anniversary, which I got from Tales from Another World. Yeah, so you, you you remember your boy when he asked you, right? My boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What boy is that? Me, I was a, you got me oh, a copyright. Oh, oh, my man, here. my man. All right, <laughs> right here. I know I have to remind you of things. Well, it's right here. You All right, my you, man. I'm gonna make you feel bad about messing with me. In the, uh, I'm the one that told you about the Hellfire yeah. Club Pulse thing. What's that? I said I'm the one that told you that the Pulse thing was gonna go live tomorrow. Hasbro Pulse. I know. You're looking forward to that Hellfire Club thing. I must have that. Yes, FOMO is pounding my brain right now. <laughs> I must have that Hasbro Legends SDCC set. There's, mm. there's no two ways about it. 
I hope it's nothing but like rich dudes like the Hellfire Club <laughs> sitting around drinking wine. <laughs> They're all sitting like at a dining room table. I just want another Emma Frost and I won't. Oh, you're it. not even going to. It's going to be Harry Leland, the dude, like all these boring ass Hellfire Club members, a couple of male, maid, male maids, not, not female maids that they usually have. <laughs> male maids. <laughs> I don't know what they were called. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not even gonna get Sebastian Shaw. You're gonna get his boring ass son, Shinobi Shaw. Shinobi Shaw is awesome. Of course, you would say that. <laughs> my mailbox is full of Mega Man and Street Fighter pins. Thanks, Omar. You're welcome. But my, my my daughter and I are addicted. Like every day, they're releasing a new Mega Man pin. Oh, oh, what, what? Wait, wait, nobody told me about this. Uh, yeah, Udon is releasing pins. Like, uh, there's exclusive San Diego Comic Con ones this week, like Dr. Wiley. But they're doing the Mega Man 1 pins, so they're going through the Robot mm -hmm. Masters right now. They just did Iceman and Fireman, I think. Yeah, man, that stuff gets, that's pretty addicting stuff, man. Mother they're called Mother L Servants. It's an actual job. Thanks, NFL dude. I feel like. I may have sounded like an asshole when I was making fun of male maids. My bad. I don't think oh. you did. I thought you were no, fine. No, no. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry if you're a male servant out there. I apologize. <laughs> I really didn't know the maid. title. I thought that was male... called a gigolo. No, these <laughs> different servants. Oh. I thought it was a John. Never mind. What else you got? Dude, the Mega Man Zero, the Zero pin is dope. Oh, 15 oh yeah. He's, he's out of print. Oh, no. Z uh... Yeah, Zero's out of print. He's already oh, gone. Don't tell me that. God damn it. And they're just like uh, omni omnibus well status once they go out of print. Really? Yeah, it gets ridiculous. Wow. Uh, Jess? I'm all done it? with my uh, hauls. Yeah. All right. Well, you all know where my haul is. Somewhere with my mailman, <laughs> I guess. He's fucking collecting omnis now. <laughs> Somewhere, <laughs> you guys get like this massive. Like, you just, just come up to your house with a dolly. Well, you know, many uh, years ago, I made actually I made friends with my mailman. Him and I, are, you know, we're pretty cool. So, because I, I didn't want him stealing my shit, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I have a feeling the UPS guy hates me. Like, <laughs> as a mail servant, if you tip him five hundred dollars on his OnlyFans, no, wait. I'll do that for five hundred dollars. Will you, though, will you dress up like uh, Tessa from the Hellfire Club? I will put on a French maid's outfit. All right. Wait, you're you're right. Wow, it doesn't. You, wow, you are cheap. Okay. Wait, I got <laughs> health insurance premiums to make. I, that's, a month, that's a month's payment. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Matthew, I saw those. Those freaking uh, Wolverine corn on the cob holders are freaking awesome. And I need to find them. Thank you. Um, I assume Geo Hall digitally, Luis uh, digitally. No. I didn't. Gabe, anything? Wait, Geo said you might have something. Did you do something, Geo? I, I ordered uh, Berserk Volume Five, uh, and I got. Um, this is probably going to sound crazy, but I bought uh, Alan Moore Swamp Thing, but in trade paperback because I don't have room for the absolutes. And I'm that chaotic that I want the trades instead of the absolute. And I also got another comic that I can't remember. Oh, the Street Fighter comics. I'm, I'm collecting those. My man. But none of them have arrived. I, I bought uh, volume two, three of the classic art covers and Super Street Fighter. Is that the name? The fourth one? Uh, one, two, and three are the hard covers, and then it goes into the legends, and then Super Street Fighter Four. Yeah, I, I think I got Super Street Fighter Four, and I got the uh, swimsuit one, but it hasn't shipped yet. So the swimsuit one has been low in stock everywhere. It's insane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm just gonna get my shit shipped over to Jess, and apparently he can get his stuff, and then able to sell it, and already ship, and got his money like <laughs> faster than I can get my original order, which is insane. He'll charge you a commission fee. That's great. <laughs> that could be his service. The the yeah. middleman, the freaking <laughs> postal service loves his ass, I guess. 
<laughs> uh, paperbacks need love too. I like that, Tyler. Word. Yes, sir. Omar, make my shipment come out faster. Jesse, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but I can't even make my goddamn shipment come out faster. So I don't know what kind of magic powers you think I got. <laughs> it ain't working. Omar, you get your haul from your mailman if you send him pics of your feet. Uh, me and Thad are cool, man, but we ain't that cool, you know? We we ain't that cool together. <laughs> <clears throat> Omar, happy birthday. Can you ask David to pave your road so the package is sent to you? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna bust down Kentucky like that. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Hey, please, where, where's Taylor from? <laughs> Taylor's where's, from where, where's Taylor live? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh, he's from a good state. And I thought he lived in Virginia and he's making fun of Kentucky and shit. Hey, or, Miss, or Mississippi. <laughs> no offense to anybody from Virginia, Mississippi in the chat. Don't forget to join the Patreon. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you should not have me on when uh, you do this. <laughs> um. All right. So my halls in UPS hell. <laughs> Gabe is in charge of the gifts tonight. <laughs> But uh, that's it, I guess. What do you? What did you all read? <clears throat> this is I got all, son. Don't skip me over. Oh, oh, you hauled? I'm sorry. All right, what'd you haul, man? Uh, so I got just caught up in the uh, aliens predator uh mm -hmm. kind of rabbit hole, and I'm still falling through that myself. Ooh, with the uh, alien versus predator 30th anniversary. Nice. These things are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like even the even the page ends are like the yellow gold color. Kind of matches my X Men shirt, but yeah. So uh, Aliens versus Predator 30th, and I got the uh, the first uh, Aliens 30th anniversary too. The black mm. and white stuff. Another beautiful book. Black mm -hmm. edges as well. Awesome stuff. Very very cool. Uh. And some single issues. I had to go for it. Had to get the Rob Liefeld's uh, G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Dead Game. These are new? These are new and sold out now. Uh -huh. And how many covers? Uh, like 30, 30, 31, 31 or 35, yeah. There's a lot of lot of variant, uh, like store retailer variant covers. There's a lot of them out there. But the, uh, the regular ones like these through Diamond are sold out. Someone's going to collect them all. Oh, yeah. That happens. Oh, yeah. Trust me. Trust me. Uh yeah, that's that's my haul. But man, I Ooh. love these books, dude. These things are so yeah. good. I'm gonna open it up and flip through it live on the show real fast. Ooh, live unboxing. Whoa, nice. I'm gonna take a look because these things are just. I've saw like, I've seen other pe other people in the in the group with them. Yeah, this is great black and white stuff. Nice. Gotta love the aliens, predator stuff here. Oh, look at that. Feet. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, they're fictional feet. I'm okay with fictional that. Feet. Fictional feet. Is that the collection that's based off of Giger's artwork? I thought there was one, right? There's a collection that's based on his work. This is was supposed to be like the first like sequel to the series. So I don't know if it's based off of his artwork or not. Let's this on the back. Anything? No, nothing about that, but... I mean, if it was Giger's artwork, it'd be a lot more dicks than feet. Or phallic <laughs> symbols than phallic, feet. Phallic, yeah. Yeah. That's great stuff. I really like the uh, the Alien Predator one. I've seen some pictures of it, too. Let me flip through this. Because it looks like they... I think they did the same thing with the Predator, uh, the Red Book. I have the blue one. That's one of the ones that's been stuck in friggin' the mail system for like a month. That's the blue one. The blue one, it's the uh, the second 30th anniversary of Aliens. Mm. But, like, yeah, the same thing with Alien and with Predator. They kept the original coloring. Mm. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Beautiful stuff. That looks badass. So, Benjamin Pinedo is saying it's an immediate sequel to Aliens. The second right. one continues the story of Newt and the dude who had his face burnt. You talking about Hicks? Yeah, and then the, the the thing happened with Alien Three, and they had to re 
you know, re-retcon or change the name of the series. Man, forget Alien 3. Oh, there's some great Alien stuff right here. Some yep. Xenomorph stuff. I'm going to have to check that out, man. Those look so good. Yeah. <laughs> It's a nice, it's a, it's a, it's an awesome, beautiful rabbit hole to fall down into. So, that's uh, that's my haul, y'all. Cool. You all right, Gio? There's plenty of light out feet. Plenty. Sounds like his shelf is falling. It sounds like he's doing his dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get bored looking at like Gabe's haul? <laughs> Setting up the kitchen. He's rearranging his shelves. Huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, what did you all read? Uh, there he is. You want me to go? Sure. What'd you read, man? I read, I started out with Strayed. I'm going to, I originally read this for the Omni Dog and Omni Cat show on Saturday, but she and I took questions for two hours instead. So I'll give a thorough review on uh, that. But this is great. This is about an astral traveling cat in the future that has a, a loving owner, but the owner and the cat uh, are under the supervision of a warlord that is intent on wiping out any sentient life in the universe. They get the cat to astral travel to other planets and find human life, or, or not human life, but life in general um, that is on the verge of becoming technologically advanced. And the cat thinks it's for, uh, it, they've got a like decoder on the cat where the cat can speak rudimentary English. And the cat thinks it's for, um, uh, a bunch of the people on this planet to go live on, but instead they're destroying these planets. And the cat finds out and, and is all bummed out thinking the owner lied to her and the tr astral traveling cat has cat-like revenge that is boss. This is a great story that I found really cool. I loved it. I saw the cover and I immediately thought that was a Kristen book. Yeah. Because I was like, that doesn't look like something Jess would buy. I did, though. Here's another cat. Catwoman. Joe All Lee. right. Deluxe oh, hardcover cat. confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do it. Well, as a writer, Joelle Jones in this book is a good artist. I. <laughs> I liked volume one a little uh -oh. bit. A little bit. I liked it a little bit, and then uh -oh. it was downhill from there. You didn't oh, even have, you didn't even have Joel Jones art it to look at. It's other artists. Volume three made no sense. Um, this is volume two. This is volume three. It made no sense whatsoever. I asked Taylor, "Is this some kind of?" Uh, uh, event tie-in that I'm not understanding and he's like not that I know of and so this <laughs> I can't even explain this book. Okay, do you have an easier time explaining Batman Rest in Peace than Catwoman Volume 3? Oh. oh. That would be I'd have to reread that but mm, I could probably explain this Catwoman book better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. it's 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 very odd. Um Lady Killer is one of my favorite books of the year, so I know she can write, but this was not her best effort. I'm really sad to say. You know, not not everybody can write superheroes, though, right? We've seen that a lot. Yeah, and Catwoman's got an awful lot of layers to her that can be explored, but this just... She's better when she's a hooker. Huh? Said her storylines are better when she's like a like a hooker. Okay. Right? No. That, that's okay. not me saying that. <laughs> yes. Um, I feel like I felt that way about like when Ed Brubaker, even Jeff Lemire a little bit when he took over 
well, X Men is really difficult to write to begin oh, with. Yeah. So that's an unfair comparison. Mm -hmm. uh, but like Matt Fraction never grew on me, with the exception of maybe maybe his Iron Man run. And I know everybody loves Hawkeye, uh, except for me for some reason. Uh, but I feel like when these indie writers come into the big two, some some of them have a hard time transitioning, and because you're working with editors, you're mm -hmm. not able to tell the story you really want. And then on top of that, you have to find that voice of the character that has been around for 80 years. In the case of Catwoman, so mm -hmm. I can understand the difficulty behind like yeah. things like that. Yeah, and um, some people some people can do it really effortlessly. Other people, it takes them a while. And, and I wanted to like it. A lot mm -hmm. because I like Lady Killer so much. But I bet you definitely like the book you're holding in your hand. Farmhand I suggested it to you. Yes, Farmhand is so good. It's so wait, much fun. Wait, wait, let let him let 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 us hear what he has to say, Louise. What uh, if he's like, this book fucking sucks? This thing uh, was not even remotely close to a good story. It was whoa! so. Cool. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. I loved it. Nice. I, I spooked this to... man. <laughs> I still have to read the third one that's on my uh, on my iPad on Hoopla, but I read volume one and two. This is a great book. Um, I I didn't understand the concept at first, and and now I do, and it's very. I mean, it's really cool. Very well written about um, an older guy that um, has a seed that grows organs like ears, noses, kidneys, hearts. And it only works if he talks, the old man talks to it while it's growing. So somehow some have gotten, some of these seeds have gotten out into the wild and caused havoc. And that shouldn't be because he is not out there to help them grow. He's also dealing with a, um, a son, his oldest son that left him because he didn't want to be involved in the uh, the business anymore. There are some questionable ethics going on in this. Um, but the son comes back with his family to help out, to try and reconcile with his father. And there's all sorts of bizarre weirdness going on here. Like this guy had an eye transplant and his eyes turned into flowers. Things are going wrong with these transplants. But... Uh, I love the idea that somebody thought of this. This is such a well thought out, interesting premise that I I really dug it. I just dug it so much. So this is Rob Guillory's Farmhand, and I need to read volume three. I need to buy volume three. I mean, I've got the first two. Um, and then I, for some reason, I just pulled this out of the um, oh, nice. hat shelf. And these are two really good stories. It starts out with Robin year one. Um, and then it goes to Batgirl year one. Uh, the art is really good. I think it looks like maybe Chuck Dixon and Scott Beatty. Yeah, they're the they're the ones that wrote Robin year one, where they're uh, dealing with the Mad Hatter. And Robin's out on his own for a couple of uh times he leaves batman then he comes back um it's really well written and really interesting and really fun with uh fine art this is no this volume is still in print but i know back earl year one has a deluxe so does robin year one it has is a there, deluxe also is there I, a year I, two that omar thinks is better <laughs> <laughs> uh i i am a huge fan of chuck dixon and his run on Robin, and these two stories are freaking phenomenal. Amanda got in the Nightwing Year One, also written by Chuck Dixon. And when I saw it, I was it's deluxe edition, dude. When you see these deluxe editions together, you'll want to read like own all three of them in deluxe editions because they look freaking awesome together. Mm -hmm. I bet. And then Batgirl has Robin helping her in um, Batgirl Year One. <clears throat> Batman's not impressed with Batgirl and wants Robin to um, be the go-between between them and um, sort of help her out, keep an eye on her. Um, I dig Batgirl in this. I just dig Batgirl in general, and she's really well-written. I like the idea of her character. Um, and she's dealing with Killer... I think it's Killer Moth who who's trying to 
sell his services to uh, the underground, uh, the mob there in Gotham City as an as a protector. He will protect the mobs, and the mobs are all saying, "We don't need your dumbass protecting us." And he <laughs> gets a partner that is way into flaming things and burning things down. He's like an enforcer, and it becomes uh, lots of mayhem. And Batgirl gets in all kinds of situations, and Robin. Uh, but it is really well done. Man, I loved this book. Yeah. We got, a, we got a super chat. I'm adding that to the list. I'm reading that this week. That sounds fantastic. Oh, yeah. You'd love this, Lou. Super, super chat, chat from Paul Baker. Super Thank chat. You, sir. Thanks, Paul Baker. All right. Go ahead. Read it. Hey, uh, man. Batman Rest in Peace makes perfect sense if you read it in the omnibus. Seriously, I love that story, but reading it raw must be complete nonsense. <laughs> Isn't it just, just military-grade meth? Isn't it just the storyline for that? Weapons-grade crystal meth. There we go. Yeah. And then I read Repairman Jack. How was that? Repairman, um, man, man, man. Somebody in the group recommended it. This guy's a fix-it guy. Um... And I can't remember who recommended it, but there's a creature on the loose, this creature here, that um, capturing people and eating them. And this cop who's right here um, has come to Repairman Jack to say, I've seen this creature, please help me. Repairman Jack has seen the creature before and knows what he's dealing with. Um, it's 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 an unusual book. I think that um, I like the idea that there's like a, a repairman, a fix-it guy um, that you can go to that can fix any situation. I'm um, I'm not sure well that I understood a lot of it. Um, there, like Catwoman, Volume Three. That was just a mess. I think this was well written, but that I just didn't pick up on it. I'll take the I'll take the hit for not understanding this. Catwoman just was not written well. Um, but I I think people should try this and give it a shot and see if you like it because this is one of those things like Little Rabbit or whatever that one was that went over my head. Little Bird. Little Bird. Exactly. Close enough. Little Rabbit. They're animals. <laughs> animals. And they're small. Well. <laughs> They're delicious. Yeah, so I think that people should check this out. It's by Dynamite. Um, it's not hard to find, uh, but it's interesting. It, but I think it was just not... I, it went over my head a little bit. I didn't get some of the things, but I, 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 blame, I blame myself on that. And that's what I read. All right. That's for the hey, super chat. Hey, now. <laughs> You know. All right. You read some gems this week, man. Just getting old, Sledge. What? What would make you say that? I mean, it's true, but you don't need to throw it in my face. I was gonna say facts and logics. Like we all are <laughs> getting old. <laughs> what? What the hell? Uh, so I read uh, Doomsday Clock. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, because I love Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns yeah. is a writer to me that has done nothing wrong. So when I read the first two issues of this, I was like, okay, this is really strange. Why does this exist? I went all the way to issue four and I said, you know what? I think I'm done because I can't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I like it. And I, I was going to wait for the cold series to come out. Of course, that was two and a half years ago when I made that decision. I didn't know it was going to take that long to do 12 issues. But Gary, Frank, and Jeff Johns are back together. This is volume two, wrapping up that series. Uh, so there's that. And uh, I read Snapdragon, which I know my boy Jess has. Yes, I have. Which is it? Tonight, or tomorrow's old reader, new reader oh. uh, is about... Uh, <laughs> Snapdragon is, is a book that makes me miss my 
male white writers. No, I'm just kidding. It was great. I loved it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's just not enough male white writers. Um, uh, no, I, I really liked it. Like it, it was a book that. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I wish it had gone one way, but it went another way, and I was completely fine with it. It was great. Yeah. Um, I also uh, started reading, uh, rereading Monstrous for old reader, new reader. That will be next week. Um, I took a break from Fourth World because, whoo, and because I'm focusing on this. Oh, you got a major up. reading going, bro. <laughs> well, I've already read most of it, and it's X Men, right? So this, no problem. Um, but I'm trying to figure out when people ask me, like, what's the be- holy shit? Uh, what's the best way to collect these? Trying to figure out which way I like reading them better, so I can give an honest answer. So, oh, so you're uh, reading both ways, like? Yeah, I'm trying to see what right makes more both. sense and what I enjoy more, um, and trying to see the benefits of both. Because we also have like Marauders coming, not Marauders. I'm sorry. What comes out next week? X Force. X Force comes out next week. So, um, I mean, yeah, it's it's been an interesting way to collect it. So, can you read Doomsday Clock without reading anything else? Oh shit! Uh, yeah, I, I guess, but I don't think you would want to. I strongly recommend at oh, least yeah. Watchmen, at the very least. Yeah. yeah. And then, then I was gonna say Rebirth, maybe if you want to find out what's going on. Uh, but at the very least, just Watchmen. With with uh, Doomsday Clock, Omar, did they retcon a certain thing? They dealing with the the comedian. <laughs> They they retcon a few things that I was, you know. Watchmen is one of those stories to me that I'm like, what's the point of telling anymore? Like I I was never a fan of before Watchmen. I've never been a fan of you know why why do more on something that was great and perfect at least in my eyes, right? Correct. And that's why it surprised me so much that I enjoyed the Watchmen TV show last year. It was great. But anyway, uh, yeah, it had its ups and downs. I'm I'm almost done with it though. I haven't finished it yet. I'm on issue eleven, I think. <laughs> mm, mm, Chris Farley. Okay. What about you guys? What y'all? Right. Sledge, you are dead to me. What do he say? Oh man, He's trying to backpedal on that old man comment, and it is not working. Tisk tisk. Sledge, you should not have unsealed that uh, bottle, like Omar says. I don't. I don't say that. <laughs> what do you? You say break that seal. Oh, so you got a pee. <laughs> yeah, you, something like that. You say shouldn't have broken that seal. You, you really want to break that seal? That there we go. Mean. You got to come. You coming up on Jess? Why are you picking on this man in the chat? I think he's like in another continent. <laughs> By request of the chat, though. By request of the chat. <sighs> oh Whoa. man, that's from uh, <laughs> Jay and Silent Bob. That might no dogma. A dogma. That's from Dogma. Chris. Not that I keep an eye on all the Sama Hayek ripping her shirt off movies yeah. or anything. Was that Sama Hayek? That was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was Dogma. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Next, who else read any? Anybody else read anything? Geo? Uh, literally started an hour ago, so I'm finally reading this. Nice. Mm. Oh, buddy. Hell yeah. Highlight, highlight that, man. Doing it. Doing it. I was going to say, you're going to make Gabe very happy. Yeah, but my camera is all crappy, so it's not going to look as great. But I finally started reading it, and I love how dramatic the dialogue is, but of course, <laughs> the art is amazing. So, yeah. The art's incredible in that, in that mm-hmm. book. Is this this is the book that got the big slip cover that's so hard to find? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. So that's all I've read. Cool. So Luis, did you read anything, brother? Yeah. Um. Just hold on. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh. Just kind of touching back on Dogma. Dogma, by the way, is an out of print, super rare Blu-ray. So for those of you that have it in your house, you can probably flip it for close to three hundred bucks right now. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. It's Until rid- they announce a 4K or something. Yeah, it's ridiculously out of print right now. Mm. Yep. Thank you, Miramax. So, right, uh, what did I read? Right, I, I would keep reading. I'm going through right now Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil. Nice. Uh, yes, I read the first volume. Fucking fantastic. Really fucking good. Um, 
Zdarsky really is able to kind of strike that balance between that Brubaker and Bendis tone, only it doesn't really go as dark so far as the Brubaker and Bendis stuff does. Um, he keeps it a little bit lighter, but he, like I mentioned last week, he really focuses more on Matt Murdock's Catholic guilt and the fact that he's starting to get older. Um, something ends up happening that in a way kind of forces him into retirement. Um, it goes to the point where even a few superheroes show up and they go, dude, you are done. Like you have gotten old. Your body is beaten up. You are fucking done. It's time to hang it up. And I, I'm not going to say who it is specifically that shows up at his door and says it. Cause it was a really cool moment. Um, so I started the second volume keeps getting better. The story is fantastic. The second volume, the art for me took a dive. Like the art in the second volume is horrible. I think it's terrible. Um, but then again, maybe I'm being spoiled because uh, who was it? That did, I can't pronounce his name that did the first volume. Shadow. Uh, yes, he fucking crushes it in the first volume. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, the second volume, you get Lalit Kumar uh, Sharma and Jorge Fornes, and they just they're just not on the same level as the first artist in, in, in the. Um, Volume one, and it's really a damn shame because Zdarsky is telling a fantastic story. Uh, this is probably some of the best Daredevil comics that I've read since the early Mark Wade stuff for me. Um, it the, the ballpark is still out if it's as good as Wade because it's still so early on in the run where I'm at right now. But fuck me, man, he is writing the shit out of that book, and it's very, very impressive. Um, so the next thing that I've read since we're kind of all on the kick right now, we're going to be starting pretty soon back on the invincible wagon uh i started reading invincible volume one again uh really fun stuff what, what i really like about it is that it catches you off guard the first volume of invincible because it starts out kind of a stereotypical traditional superhero where you're thinking oh you know it's a coming of age story the guy's dad is a superhero um you know it's pretty light in, in tone and things like that and then you start getting farther and farther and it's like no the tone start, starts shifting and it starts getting bloodier, and it starts getting more violent. Uh, and I'm really having a good time kind of revisiting that and kind of examining and going, oh, yeah, I remember some of that stuff and some of the things that I don't remember. Um, really fun series. And for a while, I think uh, Gabe even mentioned it last week, that we, we considered it the best superhero comic on the stands for a long time. Um, so I'm going through that. Uh, really good stuff. And what was the third? Oh, right, yes. Continue to read My Hero Academia. Uh, they are in the middle of a war arc right now. I'm kind of ready for the war arc to end, to be honest. It's really fun so far, but it's dragged out to the point where I'm like, all right, it's time to let's wrap this thing up, okay? It's uh, it's interesting and it's fun, but you've dragged it out enough where I'm like, let's get to the big fight so we can end this thing and kind of move on past this arc. Really good stuff, but I'm ready to kind of shift into the next thing that he's got planned. Man, I can't wait to get into Invincible again. Yeah, I'm getting excited to read it, too. Mm -hmm. You want to join us, Gio? I know you and I, at one point, many, many moons ago, was doing a read-a-thon. Yeah, sure. Why not? Make it happen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, check this out. Found this the other day. Nice. Is Eat that it. what all the noises were? Yep. Okay. I thought I heard I you digging through stuff. This was 1993, by the way. I remember. Whoa. That's yeah. high tech toys back then. Oh, yeah. 1993. And, yeah, you could rip this Those thing up. Simpler apart. times. We weren't wearing masks. You can rip I it could apart. go to conventions. Oh, and I was in high school, so I didn't have money. <laughs> Never mind. 1993 sucked. $20 went far at BotCon. Yeah, it did, fucker. <laughs> 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 Actually, what's what was cool about 1990, not cool about 1993, was that was before the uh, uh, revival of everything, right? So kids in the 80s were going through this transition where we had nothing new on the toy shelves. And then about the late 90s is when they started filling up toy shelves with things from your childhood, like revisioning Transformers or Ninja Turtles that were coming back. And yep. nostalgia kicked in, right? That, that's when they started, and, they, and, and it worked. Well, Star Wars, Star Wars is the one that started it in what, 90, 99? 90, well, no, no. Before they did that, they did the three movies, uh, Force yeah. Awakens, not Force Awakens, uh, A New Hope, Empire, and Return. Mm -hmm. 
in the movie theaters, right? 95, 96, and 97, I think is when they did it, or 96, 97, 98. Oh, 96. And the toys, the power of the force came back out, and yeah. everybody was like, holy crap. Our, our childhood is back on the toy shelf with more articulation. Granted, I think it was just an extra joint that you could, but it doesn't matter because you were, you were more of an adult now, and you were like, I can buy this shit. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, don't Yikes. do that. Shots fired. <laughs> don't do that. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I just want to state what Jess stated earlier. Gabe does not represent the opinion of all the Omnipros. <laughs> this weak ass Star Wars sucks meme. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I can I can get down on RoboCop though. I that it's that was my cool. jam. I love that movie. Um, yeah. anybody else read anything? RoboCop shooting a guy in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> Soundtrack. There's something that in movie the chat, was but we might have to wait. Yeah, let's do the previews. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. Uh, read. Let me do my read real quick, and we'll get into previews. I'll make this quick. It's kind of the same stuff I've been talking about before. Uh, I finished up Scalped Volume Three. This this series again just gets more and more just depressing and awesome at the same time. Uh, this storyline is a lot to do with a young kid named Adino Porbear and the sad things he gets involved with. Uh, it's so good that I ended up burning through volume. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, read volume two, finished volume two. So good, finished. I burnt volume three in almost one sitting. Still continuing great stuff, and I am slowly working my way through uh, volume four now. So I love these covers. Nice, these covers, these wraparound covers are beautiful. Wow, so burn through that. Uh, and then, uh like I said, I picked up Snake Eyes. Did he write uh, that too, or just draw it? He wrote it and he drew it. Okay, so it's fun. I had a good time uh, reading through this. It's 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 Snake Eyes. It's all nothing but like ninja action through basically the whole book. It's just Snake Eyes going on a special mission. There's some feet there for everybody. The planes about Rob Life not drawing mm -hmm. feet. There's feet in every panel. Uh, but yeah, awesome, great stuff. Uh, you even get the return. This is the return of the original, original GI Joe, who had his thumb on backwards. Well, yeah, art's great. Story is is fun. Uh, building up to like a big war of ancient uh, enemy proportions. But you know, I'm I'm having a good time with it. So I'm gonna keep reading this through. Uh, nice double page there. But for all the Rob Liefeld haters out there. It's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I guess I'll, make, I'll keep that quick because it's getting nice. late and we want to go through previews next, right? That's what everybody's here for. Yeah. Everybody's here for previews. Uh, real quick. So don't forget to hit that like button before we get started. Word. 161 folks in the, in the chat. Some of those scalped hardcovers are out of print. I think I'm going to say most of them are. Two oh, yeah. way out of print. Is it number two? Yeah. I say, depending on the sales of something like Hundred Bullets, we might end up with an omnibus from from Scalped and maybe even Sweet Tooth. Although I don't know who would pay for oversized Jeff Lemire artwork, and that's how you fire <laughs> shots. Oh man, I just sold that uh, Sweet Tooth Volume One I got for. Yeah, I love oversized. Jeff Lemire artwork. Jerk. All right. My you bad. guys ready for the previews? Let's do it. Let's make it happen, everybody. Right on, right on. All right. Uh, all right, everybody. So go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up. We're going to go ahead and start through this. I'm also going to uh, break this off and put it into a separate video like I did before. So people seem to, to have liked that. So we'll, nice. we'll keep that party train happening. All right, everybody. So here is the releases for July 22nd. You'll be able to find these releases on our sponsor's website, InStockTrades.com, tomorrow, Tuesday, 21st, 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. So we'll get that F5 button ready. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's go and start off here. We got Image Comics. Uh, this is volume 10 
of East to West trade paperbacks. They need to already. They need to hurry up and give us that volume three hardcover. Already, I'm waiting for it. And then with that, we have uh, Oliver trade paperback volume one. Awesome art by the awesome Derek Robertson. Safe Sex Volume One trade paperback called Protection. Dark Horse Comics this week. We got Black Sad. Mm. Collected That's edition. Real. Yep. Uh, and then I think the book that most of us are looking forward to this week here on the panel, besides Jess, is the Helsing Deluxe Edition Hardcover Volume One. Nice. <laughs> Then we got Tales from Harold County. Yes. I think, I, think, I think you might like Helsing, Jess. I think you'd enjoy it. It's backwards. You won't be able to do it. I know. I know. But I think you would enjoy it if you gave it a shot. You should watch the anime. You said, someone said the anime, yeah. the ultimate one's on Hulu, right? Jess, yeah. as your friend, <laughs> and the only rational voice right now, Yes. I don't think you would enjoy Helsing. Okay, thank you. I, I love Helsing, but it's just a fun book and i don't think you would like it mainly because of your main problem of reading from right to left like you but i think the that, anime right? would be good for you just because i of think movies. the anime is the way to go i okay. think you should read berserk again you freaking heathen and <laughs> <laughs> but sure go the go the anime route whatever but helsing it's it's really good it's but it the art is the main selling point of helsing it's not like uh, <laughs> You know, it, it, we've seen stories like this before, and I think I don't think you would dig it. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, now send me thirty dollars for saving you forty. I had no intention of ever buying it anyway. So okay, well, never mind. Fuck me. Either. Thirty dollars right. and feet photos. <laughs> IDW this week. Napoleon Dynamite has a comic. Oh, yeah. just, are you getting that, Jess? I absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is what comic books were made for. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'm going to have to check this out because I love the idea of this being a uh, sequel to the Napoleon Dynamite movie. Did you all not watch the animated show? Like, it only lasted six episodes because it was that horrible. But the oh, actors did great. their own voices. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. I thought it was shit, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it too. It was great. I'm sure that's what this comic book is going to be like. <laughs> Uh, and then Star Trek Year 5, Trade Paperback Volume 2, The Wine Dark Deep. Uh, Marvel this week. It's going to start off with Amazing Spider-Man 2099 Compendium Trade Paperback. Companion. Not, that too? not to be Companion. that guy. Companion, Companion. Thank you, Omar. I, I, I don't want to be that guy. But no, didn't, <laughs> not, I would private message you, but you wouldn't read it. No, I wouldn't. I have you on block. Okay. Uh, Avengers by Jason Aaron, Trade Paperback, Volume 6. We've got the Eternals uh, Kirby Complete Collection. This is really cool because you get a direct market cover and a standard edition cover. They don't do this with Trade Paperbacks. Yeah, Thank, you, Rod. Thank you very much for our shock. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> was that a tit for tat because I called Wait, you wait. out? Jesus, you're worse than my wife at holding a grudge. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Is Miles previous Harrell? not showing DC? Are we not showing DC? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, no, DC will be next. In previews. No, it's, not, it's not on previews. Yeah, oh, it's, not it's, not, it's not on previews anymore. Oh, no. We oh. can read the list from Instar Trades, though. We okay, I got it. We, well, we need a list, a list from the actual distribution centers because even if Instar Trades may not get everything that's distributed tomorrow, that's what sucks about this having three different distribution centers. Shit. Okay, I'm looking at. I'm going to text Steve Jeff. I, right I could bring up uh, the weekly releases on Instar Trades so we can see what they're getting as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think Jess has those, right? Yeah. Well, instead of reading it off, we could just look, we could look at it and do both or something. I don't know. Uh, Miles Morales, uh, Trade Paperback, Volume 3, Family Business. Uh, Runes of Ravencroft, Trade Paperback. Venom by Donny Cates, Volume 4, Trade Paperback. Uh, Wolverine Weapon X, Trade Paperback. This deserves like a oversized hardcover. And uh, X Force by uh, Benjamin Percy, Volume One. 
That's Dynamite, cool. everybody's new favorite publisher, is putting out John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that when Jess was showing off the Dynamite book. I, I, mean, I wasn't going to say anything, but I was like, actually, on the Dynamite, Jess. <laughs> well, we can't jump the gun. We don't know everything that's going on yet. It's, it's just a publishing company. We'll keep going forward. Let's make it happen. Uh, Boom Studios this week, we got uh, Angel Legacy Graphic Novel Volume 2, uh, Folklords Trade Paperback. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Beyond the Grid, mm -hmm. Space Bear original graphic novel, and hardcover, then, hardcover, hardcover. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Lynn Wayne. <laughs> and uh, here's a uh, the the bottom half. We'll just kind of see if there's anything here anybody wants to point out. Do you want me to pull up uh, IST's Wait. offerings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that. And I'm going to ask Gio a question here. Okay. Gio, yeah. so I have uh, scroll up a little bit, Gabe. B stars. The um, no, this this series right here, Barakamon. Yeah. Who is that? Who is that? Who's doing that series? Satsuki Yoshino. Okay, I can read it. But I mean, is it the same guy that did Death Note? Uh, no, no. Uh... I'm getting this series confused with Bakuman, aren't I? Yeah, Bakuman oh. is from the team that did Death Note. God damn these names. Barakuman, Bakuman, Digimon. Wait, I, actually, that's not one. <laughs> if everybody wants to hear our thoughts on manga previews, uh, Thursday is the manga show, and we'll be going over previews and what's coming out next in August. So we're not going to read it here. There you have it. So yeah. there's anything here we want to point out, Phil? Yeah, like Dr. Uh, Stone. I'm getting Dr. Stone, Demon Slayer, Beastars, Act Age is, uh, I reviewed it on this channel if anybody wants to check that out. High Q's pretty good. What else they got? I saw another uh, No Gun. No, Paradise. no Gun something coming out this week too. No Gun, No Life. Yeah. No With a guy that, that's made out of a gun that me and Lou just fell in love with last week. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like Levius. Even though I haven't read the original. Oh, um, Mujishi Urushi. I want that because I like Urasawa like a lot. Definitely getting that. I don't know what this nymph is, but that looks awesome. Got some Gundam action. Got That's another. Of, uh, there you go. No Guns Life. Yeah, No Guns Life. Can you highlight that cover? Because that art is amazing. It looks every, bad. Out. Every one of these covers are awesome. Yeah, look, <laughs> look how cool that is. Look at that guy's gun head, bro. That's does he? Does, this guy is the um is the inside artwork just as good? I think so. I think it's great. It it's got that punk, sci uh, cyberpunk aesthetic mixed with uh, um, synthwave vibes. It's fantastic. That's what's up. Okay. There's an anime if you want to check it out, too. Mm, six volumes in anime? I don't know, man. I mean, it's still ongoing. Yeah. Let's see, Rinne, 34. Rose of Versailles. That's been one of the most wanted manga since the 70s here in America. And it's finally coming over here. It's beautiful. Yeah. Ruby. I know everybody likes Ruby. Some new Snowpiercer? Snowpiercer. No, these are the trade paperbacks of the three graphic novels that they have. But remember, Snowpiercer is also, they're written by um, somebody else because the writer passed away after the first one. Uh, so they're mm -hmm. written by someone yeah. else. Chris Not that Evans. it makes it fanfic, but... Yeah. Star Trek Discovery for Jess? Did he leave? Mm -hmm. No, he's... Oh. Maybe mentally checked out. No, I'm watching. I okay, got he's here. I, I like that tranquility cover. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. Do you want to take a look at what IST has for this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. What's so? What does IST have for DC? Or do you have any fifty percent off books, Jess? Yeah, I do. What do you got? Um, I have uh, House of Mystery. Well, I, let me look at what the. Is this what the list is right now? Of what's available? Well, this is Marvel and DC coming out the yeah. this week. House of mm -hmm. Mystery, the Bronze Age Omnibus, Omnibus yeah. Volume Two is fifty percent off. Yeah, uh, I will be purchasing that. Oh yeah, are are you into these? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, cool. man. I'm a big fan of House of Mystery and House of uh, Horror. So yeah. So it looks like they're getting uh, Batman Beyond Volume Seven trade paperback. Do I need to blow this up bigger? Or is this okay? No, it's a little bigger. It's bigger. Always bigger. Bigger. Perfect. There you go. All right. Uh, so yeah, Batman Beyond trade paperback volume seven. Flash United They Fall trade paperback. Green Lantern Green Arrow Space Traveling Heroes hardcover. The House of Mystery Bronze Age Omnibus volume two that we just talked about. That's 50% off. And that's it. And that's it. Well, look, we can see what next week is Preacher. That's your 50% off book. All right. Which one? And that is that, everybody. House of House of Secrets, hmm. Brown Age. Gotcha. Volume two. Hmm. Jess, why don't you go ahead and tell them about that website that we were just on? The OnlyFans one. Oh. Um, oh. No, no. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> uh, InStockTrades.com. You can get your collected editions up to fifty percent off. Loyalty discounts add two percent to that. There is a rumor floating around there will be an Omnibros Live discount code this year. Hope it's soon, but we will see. IST is kind enough to give us a $50 gift card to give away to a lucky viewer at the end of every month. Uh, if you order $50 or more in an order of books from IST, you get free shipping in the United States. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's in stocktrades.com. Uh, so I made a mistake earlier. I said, uh, house of horror. I was talking about house of mystery, house of, mystery house, of, house of, house of secrets. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know where the hell house of horror came from. Maybe I was thinking about the Marvel horror, uh, omnibus I was looking at. Yeah. House of secrets and house of pain, not house of pain. You fuckers. I got to jump off. House of pain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was really good seeing you guys. I'm going to go watch sailor moon R with my daughters right now. Nice. Perfect. Is there a James Stokoe okay. Godzilla book? Yes. Uh, it's trade paperback. I think it got delayed, right? Me and Riley were talking about that book. It was originally hmm. it was originally supposed to come out in hardcover, and then they re, uh, delayed it, and eventually I think it's going to – now it's going to be uh, trade paperback. Uh, Black Sad, by the way, sadly, is soft cover, but that is my pick of this week if you're going to get something. It is a phenomenal yeah, series, and that book is going to be thick, even though it's $29.99. Uh, I said, even though it's it's soft cover, you're still going to get this amazing artwork. And it's it got all three of the collections, all three of the books. It's all five. Remember, the first one had three stories. Oh yeah, 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 so yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. like all five that have been translated into English. So, uh, yeah. you all take care. Much love to the chat. Catch me on my show. Uh, almost said Omni Bros Live uh, near me condition. So, thank you all. You guys take care. Right Later, on. Bro. Bye, Bye guys. Man. Bye. I just want to echo that, that that thought as well, and that's my pick of the week as well. If you have not checked out Black Sad, please do so. It's incredible, and the art is amazing. I will agree with that. Black Don't get discouraged right. because it's a trade paperback. Get it. You're going to love it. Same read, same experience, right? So yeah. I've never read and, it, so I can't talk about it. Oh man, if you if you haven't read it and you're discouraged because it's a trade paperback, you are doing yourself a disservice by not checking that series out. It's incredible. You're gonna look at it and you're probably gonna think, is this some furry shit? It's not, it's not <laughs> furry shit. I promise you, it's great. It's really anthrop anthropomorphic characters. Anthropomorphic characters. Anthropomorphic oh, characters. That's all they are. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, before we wrap up or everything, uh, there were two questions I wanted to answer. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find them real quick. Cause there's a lot of people. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, somebody was asking about, uh, shoot, what was the manga, uh, way of the house husband. I haven't read it, but from what, uh, Riley has said on this channel, it's fairly episodic, even if it's a comedy series. So you have a, former Yakuza, uh, he's a house husband and he's doing daily tasks. So it's it's a comedic episodic series, but unfortunately I haven't read it. And somebody was asking, I don't think we talked about this, but we got the solicit for the Flashpoint Omnibus, the 10th anniversary. Oh yeah? 
what's, uh, uh, what's in it? Any, anything? Let me let me check the uh, photo on fa on the Facebook group because I can't remember. But it's supposed to have everything. Somebody was asking earlier what were the contents of the book. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It should just be the Flashpoint story and the Batman story. Everything else is trash. Right. I, I mean, I, I liked the Wonder Woman and Aquaman stuff. I thought that was I fun. I like that, too. That was probably the second most interesting part. Mm. Uh, somebody asked if um, the hardcovers are still available. Raz asked, uh, the hardcovers are still available for Black Sad? They are. If you want that in oversized hardcover form, you can get the three hardcovers still. Um, there's three hardcovers. Um, it contains several stories that will be contained in the omnibus. Um, but if you want the hardcovers, they're still available for cover or less. And they are worth it. Hmm. Incorrect, Jesse. Oh my gosh, that's so wrong. Get out of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this up. My kids uh, are calling for me. Oh. Oh, uh, did we figure out the flash on the bus or flashpoint? I cannot load the image. I apologize, right. but it's supposed to have every single trade mini three arc. It's gonna be so a big, big bastard. Do you want to do a quick shot on it again for the Patreon? Just a quick one. Yeah. Uh, so everybody, yeah, uh, we do have a Patreon now. Uh, we appreciate. It. There's already two patrons that signed up already. So a special shout out to you guys. Very awesome. It is, damn it, uh, it's, I know it's Joe Goose and Paul Baker. So nice. we'll shout you guys out. Every uh, All of our uh, Patreons will get a shout out at the end of the show. We'll, we'll try to remember to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the, let me bring up the little images real fast because it's funny. Uh, we have the tip jar tier, which is a dollar, or you can edit it and make it whatever amount you want. It's just like a tip. You know, a dollar, two bucks, three bucks, 20 bucks, you know, whatever you feel our information, our show has is worth to you. So you can always give us a tip on that. And then we also have a $5 tier, which is the campfire tier. <laughs> and with that, you get uh, once a month, we'll open up uh, a live stream for our $5 patrons who can come on and we'll, we'll talk collecting omnibuses, comics feet and you can whatever. ask you can ask us any question and we'll answer it i don't know about that okay you can ask me any question and i'll answer it we'll try to answer everything i will put i will put my uh, life on the uh, i'll just put it all out there you can ask me anything in this in this campfire round we'll see how it goes because it's a campfire damn it yeah we're going <laughs> Seeing Kumbaya and hold hands and make s'mores, make s'mores and sleep in the tents together. Somebody wants a slumber party. Uh, Jess is putting that together pretty soon. We'll just work out the logistics of it all. all right, we can do a watch party while we talk about comics. Right, we'll be able to do all kinds of cool stuff. You know, maybe we'll do like things you can't do here. Maybe we'll do on there. Like, uh, uh, it's, it's been a while, but I don't know when the next one's going to come out. But movie trailers, we could always do like movie trailer. Like reaction videos or something like that, we'll figure it out. Uh, the link is in the chat. It's in our description uh, below this video as well. So thanks to everybody who's already signed up and anybody else that is willing to give us a little bit of support. So, all right. So with that said, Jess, where can everybody find you at, brother man? You can find me on Omni Dogs Vault on YouTube and Omni Dogs underscore <laughs> Vault nice. on Instagram. I love this picture. I don't think I posted this yet on Instagram. I got to do that. Uh, Gio, where where can everybody locate you at? Uh, you can find me on my channel, A Week in Geekdom, where I talk about anime, comics, and manga. And on this channel, usually Mondays and Thursdays. And Mr. Lou. Uh, you can find me at Comics Guide 101 on Twitter, where I'm usually talking about whatever movie or whatever video game I'm playing. Currently, I'm going through Ghost of Tsushima right now. And 
Oh, it's fucking incredible. Um, if you love Kurosawa films and if you love classic samurai films, you'll love this. I'm also going and playing through Paper Mario, so I'll, pro- I'll probably be posting up my thoughts on that as well. Paper Mario is a blast, by the way. It's super fun. All right. And everybody, uh, for myself, you can find me Instagram, Gabe Loves 90s Comics. And uh, you, know, you already have me here. So those are the best places to be able to hit me up. And with that, that, all that said, guys, we appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm trying to find that video. Peace and, and love. Peace and love. Take care, y'all. Bye. Bye. DS9 sucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end.